Let's talk about some stocks and stuff. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm your beautiful host, Young Buffett, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about some stocks. We're gonna take a look at the overall market. We're gonna take a look at where we should put our money next, what to do, what's the plan, what's going on, what to look out for, and many, many more things. So diving right into it, first thing I like to take a look at, I hop into my daily watch list over here, over at Finery, and I take a look at the overall market. What's going on with the Qs? What's going on with the SPY, the TLT, the UUP, bonds, dollars, overall market, big tech, okay? Everything overall good today, um, which is crazy because Friday looked like a bloodbath. Um, also, crypto went absolutely insane over the weekend and just dropped a casual 20%. So that's fun, right? Uh, immediately bought that. So uh, we're, we're, we're doing well on crypto. Crypto's doing fine. I, I cranked out probably like 12 TikTok videos over the weekend and last week just talking about crypto and nfts and i've been really diving into that space so it's been a lot of fun definitely check that out if you're into that kind of thing but if you're not into that kind of thing just you know you're safe here well welcome home don't forget to hit that subscribe button but apple fantastic day today two percent amazon 1.2 percent which is huge for them google almost a percent which is huge microsoft almost a percent which is huge apple's just been killing it and i don't know i don't really know why but we're, we're, we're not going to complain on that. Anything under 170 is going to be interesting for Apple. Anything above that is going to go absolutely crazy. So keep an eye out for Apple coming into the Christmas Santa rally. I've been watching it very, very closely for the past week now. And it's gone through a peak and a valley. It's making this uh, notorious W shape. So if you're into that kind of technical analysis crap, you, it's a W whatever that means. Uh, Facebook 3.8% today, which is huge for them. <laughs> you got to You got to keep in mind how much money is actually being moved around when we're talking one, two, 3% moves on multi-billion trillion dollar companies. So very, very interesting stuff. Uh, Roblox seems to be leveling out a little bit. They've been literally moving up and down 10% every single day, going from what where we got in at around seventy dollars to about a hundred and what forty? Did it get to one hundred and forty or what? Yeah, almost one hundred and hundred and thirty nine, and then dropping right back down to like one hundred and fifteen, and then coming right back up to one hundred and thirty five, and then coming right back down to about one hundred and nine, and it's sitting at about one hundred and fourteen right now. We've been watching Roblox really, really closely, about forty five percent in the past month. So keep an eye out for another resurgence on that. Roblox is a secret killer. It's a winner in the sense of if everything shuts down, people are still going to be playing Roblox. If everything opens up, Roblox came out with a report that said that they're doing better since the reopening than they even were during the pandemic shutdown. So they're just winning no matter what. So that is a company that I want to be invested in, that I am invested in. So that's something you should definitely take a look at. But none of this is a recommendation to buy or sell any type of uh, security or investment. It's just something to take into consideration as you're looking for different companies to scale into or look into or keep track of or add to your watch list or play, play some options, play some shares, swing trade it, day trade it, hold it long term, whatever you're into. It all works out the same at the end of the day. Uh, travel went absolutely ballistic today as uh, less and less fear was entering the market. American Airlines, 8%. Airbnb, 8.4%. Delta, 6%. Uber, 7%. I posted in my finery uh, about two weeks ago when the travel stock started to crumble I said that's an overreaction. I started buying the dip on those. So keep an eye out on these type of buckets. I like to organize these stocks into little buckets. I don't know if you've noticed. I like to have the big tech, the big, the big boys, the big names here to take a look at those. I like to take a look at travel all at the same time. When any travel related news comes in, these are the first things I look at. How's Uber? How's Airbnb? What about airlines, Boeing, these type of companies? How's Disney? Disney was up 3% today. So it's interesting to keep track of maybe Disney is less of a reopening or travel play 
because of their exposure to streaming. So they win both ways or lose both ways. It's, it's an interesting balancing act, a balancing game with Disney. DraftKings up 8%. So are they moving with travel stocks? Are travel stocks impacting sport-related things? I don't know. Longevron chilled out at about $20 after our crazy 300% play on that. Snapchat up 2%. I guess they decided to stop ruining our lives. Uh, We bought 100 shares, so we're still struggling a little bit there. They're down 10% in the last month. I don't like that. Uh, Ever since their earnings the past three months, 37.51% down. I feel like that's a lot. I don't... I don't really agree with that. It's not deserved, but their stock, their chart is looking ugly. Uh, 47, anything below like 42 starts to get in that little danger zone once we start seeing things like 36 and start breaking below, coming back to the old days where Snap was about 20 and going even worst case back down all the way until the good old days where Snap was about nine or ten bucks or so so keep an eye out for snapchat it's looking kind of ugly but i'm waiting my thesis on this is waiting for any type of meta or vr or ar suggestions or developments or plays on that so i'm I'm very hopeful which is a terrible investment thesis but i'm hopeful that maybe they uh they come out of the woodworks with some sort of news like that uh payment providers paypal square we've been talking about these guys for a couple of videos in a row now on their three month down 36%, 32%. Why? I don't know. Is it some sort of regulation thing? Is it some sort of crypto related thing? I don't know because um, if we take a look at XLF, which is the banking industry ETF, in the past three months, they've been up 2.22%. So banking and finance stuff are... They're chilling. They're doing kind of fine. In the past year, they're up 34%. But if we take a look at the past year on Square, down 15%. The past year on PayPal, down 14%. One of these things looks weird. Banking, JPM, JP Morgan Chase, 31% in the past year. Uh, why are banks doing better than payment providers? I like the technology on Square better than I like the payment uh infrastructure from JP Morgan, in my opinion. So I might be looking at opening a position on square here soon. I do like, ugh, actually, I don't know because it it might drop down to about 145 or so worst case, but if it starts to pick back steam, I will, I will probably scale into that. I've wanted (laughs) story time. I wanted square when it was around like 60, I wanted it again when it was around 90. I thought I missed the boat when it hit around like 120 or so. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to touch that anymore. It's just, it's too far gone. And then it went all the way up to like 276. And I was like, what? No way. That's about 1800% gain on that stock if you bought it when it IPO'd. But I thought I missed out. And I didn't follow one of my only rules that I have with investing is dollar cost averaging into anything. And uh, I might just start dollar cost averaging into this and start establishing a position up or down. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see. China stocks kind of kind of recovered a little bit. Uh, Baba had a crazy day. Um, but I feel like, did people forget that the SEC wants to delist China stocks? <laughs> Baba's down 29% in the past three months, guys. Um, did people just forget 50% in the past year? JD down 9% in the past year. Neo down 28% in the past year. Pinduoduo down 61% in the last year. I don't know why people keep buying these China stocks. I don't know what's going to, I don't know how that's going to play out or bounce around, but it could be a fun one to trade. Next and last but not least, we have AMC, Clove, GME. I threw Tesla in here because I wanted to take a look. Um, They seem to be kind of struggling at this 1,000 mark. We'll see if they can bounce back and hold it. They're down 10% in the past week, 13% in the past month. And uh, they're up still, though, 33% in the past three months. So they're still holding up, but they do have room to fall down to the mid, what, like 800s or so, um, if they cannot hold that 1,000 and break through about 1,400. So we'll take a look at that. We'll keep an eye out on that, and we'll track that. AMC, 
down 0.03% today. Very useless day for them. They nothing really happened. Uh, they've been getting clobbered in the past three months or so. But they're still holding up crazy, crazy levels, and they're still holding that demand. Clove, on the other hand, did it break four? Oh, it broke four dollars. Oh man, I never thought I would see that. But there it is. <laughs> Clove struggling, but it's still still trying. It's still trying. And uh GME holding 170. So that's a quick little market recap. I guess that wasn't really quick. I dived in, I dove in talked about things in a little bit too much detail i guess still trying to figure out the format of these videos a little bit uh what kind of things you guys would like to see what kind of things we should look out for and talk about uh the most trending stocks on reddit we can we can scroll through these to see what people are talking about i know people are interested in this spy tesla gamestop alibaba nvidia amd chewy um with earnings and stuff amc falling down on the list lucid motors working their way up DocuSign after a terrible earnings uh working their way back up on that list uh, they were up a lot today. Uh, DWAC, Trump's uh, social media is doing well. QQQ, we talked about that. Apple, Longevron, we talked about those things. So, yeah, uh, there's just a lot going on. Um, Wall Street Bets is talking about pretty much the same stuff as the overall Reddit squad and uh, us, pretty much. So, nothing much to take a look at there. I'm excited about crypto. I'm excited about the NFTs that I bought. I'm having fun with those. And uh, our long-term portfolio just keeps going up and it keeps doing what it's doing. Again, I made this public portfolio here. Let me go full screen. I made this public portfolio just to show you guys the power of $100 a paycheck. And all of those little, those little blips and those little bumps, those little spikes, those are just deposits. And I just keep depositing and then investing in and these stocks that I know that I like, we're down a lot on some, we're up a lot on the others. And it's just holding us up. It's doing its thing. Um, if you want to download public, links in my bio, you get up to $50 in free stocks and I get up to $50 in free stocks. So it's a win-win. Might as well shill that to you guys. And with that, I love you. And I'll see you in the next video.